What's up YouTube? It's another day in April that I'm vlogging because I'm vlogging on all of them and I'm here with Mr. Hoyle who has one of his meals with him in the car and it is a dreary awful day like it's been every day in Michigan for like forever and is going to be for the next seven days. So it's Thursday which means it's one of our off days. It's our first off day of the two that we take. Hello. It is like three o'clock. We've just been chilling all day. Hung out around the house and watched TV and chilled. And now we are stir crazy. So we're getting out of the house. We're actually gonna go to the mall. And I think I might try on some stuff at Lululemon for you guys. Just for funsies, just because why not? I don't think I've shopped at Lulu in like a couple months at least. So I'm kind of curious to see how some of their new stuff fits. And yes. Did you bring your pants that were ripped? I did not because I sweated in them. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that if you like, if something goes wrong with Lululemons that you're wearing, like if the stitching comes undone or something like that, you can bring it in and they'll damage it out and I think basically like replace the item or give you store credit because of the, for the item or something like that. Someone who works at Lululemon I'm sure will comment in the comment section and tell me exactly what their policy is, but that's what I've been told. So um, one of my favorite pairs of Lulu is actually the stitching started coming undone and they're they are a pair from like a year ago that they don't sell anymore, so um, when I clean them, I'm gonna have to bring them in and see what they'll do with them for me. That's kind of a cool policy though. Lulu is really good about that kind of stuff. Can't stop making faces today. All right, I'm gonna go now. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go What's up you guys? So I was a terrible vlogger yesterday and I didn't vlog anything after Lululemon. Um, I just was, uh, it, trying on clothes on Lululemon got me in kind of like a weird mood and I just wanted to kind of like chill for the night and not think about social media and like working and stuff like that. Um, I just needed like a little bit of a break and I know I promised I'd be vlogging every day in April and I'm still vlogging every day it's just uh, when nights like last night happen where I just really needed to rest um, I'm gonna have to like kind of combine vlogs or uh, get them up a little bit later I hope that that's okay with you guys but yeah so today is I don't even know where we're at Friday I'm really really exhausted and depleted today um, we're actually on our way to get blaze pizza I decided I was gonna do a refeed today because my mind is like so foggy. Um, I woke up for the third day in a row just feeling like weak with hunger. Um, even after like th like three nights of good rest, I just felt like weak and like de really, really depleted and stuff. So I'm having kind of like a tracked refeed today. I'm not having like a cheat meal, cheat meal. So yeah, we're doing that and we're gonna go to Blaze Pizza and my hair looks so cute today because I'm wearing my extensions and I love them. And there's my husband and yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and answer two questions today since I missed answering a question yesterday. And my nails are blue, do you guys like that? You like that? You like that? I like that. We're gonna go get pizza. Blaze Pizza is my favorite. It's like the subway making of pizza. It's like a go down the line and build your own pizza type of situation. And it's so delicious and they have a really, really awesome nutrition calculator online so you can kind of track your macros of the pizza that you get. So, we're gonna do that. 
Blaze Pizza. Eva? Go and get pizza. This strip is awesome. There's a Blaze Pizza right there. There's a Qdoba next door. There's some place called Burger 21 that's gonna open. And then at the end they have a Noodles & Co. All the best options. I did the thing again where I saved my macros all day for this meal. And because I'm already like super, super hungry and depleted from like dieting pretty hard the last couple weeks, it's like extra miserable today. I just want my pizza. Where are you? Come out of here. Are you hungry? Yes. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving, Mr. Hoyle. <laughs> oh, finally. That's basil, and there's two types of mozzarella on there, and onions, and a million delicious things. All right, I am back home. Hi, Kitten, why are you so meowy? I'm just tired and a hi hey. Hey. Um yeah, so <laughs> this is really cute. Kid <laughs> there. You guys always want more kid there. The hair is more kid there. Oh. So I was supposed to do hair and makeup for a bodybuilding competition tomorrow in Michigan and due to some last minute unforeseen circumstances I will not be able to do that tomorrow and I'm bummed about it but um, such is life. I'm really really tired today. I feel like I've just been really drained lately emotionally, physically, physically. Um, I would say, I think I've talked before about stress and anxiety and how I've um, had a, a lot of issues with anxiety in the past and I would say that a lot of the times my, my anxiety comes on because I'm not good at managing my stress. Um, when stressful situations come or when I'm stressed about different things in my life, I don't know how to deal with that really, really well and at least not in a way that helps me stay calm, but for the last few weeks, I've actually managed everything really well. I've been happy with work, even though it keeps me busy like 12 hours a day sometimes. And like now that I'm vlogging every day, I'm pretty much working like 12 to 13 hours a day, if not more. Um, it makes me happy and it's fun and I love the interaction with you guys. And with my diet, it's been, you know, it's never fun to stay on track, but I've been really inspired and motivated lately. And I took my progress photos this morning and my weight was still at 149 and I was just so proud of what I looked like and so excited about how far I've come and just excited to keep going and my arms are getting tired as always. Do I even lift? I feel like yesterday and today the stress and like mental exhaustion is just kind of catching up to me. Can you believe it? There's a world outside of social media. Can you believe it that there's stuff going on in my life that I don't always talk about on social media? <laughs> There is, but uh, I've learned that it's a lot easier to deal with stress and anxiety in my life when I just keep a positive outlook and when I don't let stuff consume me and I just work really hard at letting stuff roll off my back a little bit more. There's so much in life that you just can't do anything about and when you realize that there's something going on in your life that you don't like and there's nothing that you can do about it, if you can just learn to let it go and stop letting it consume your thoughts and your life, it's so much easier to just like maintain your peace. And um, that's what I'm learning to do and I feel like a lot in the last few weeks I've kind of dealt with a lot of the stressors in my life more head on. Um, whereas a lot of times I would just let stuff get to me or I would let stuff that shouldn't be making me feel guilty make me feel guilty and make me feel bad. And lately I feel like I've just like every time one of those things comes up I'm like okay what can I do about this right now. And if it's nothing I'm like alright I'm letting this go then I'm not going to let myself be upset about this. And if there is something I can do, then to just do it and not be afraid of the consequences if I know what's right for me. So that's me right now. I have approximately 200 grams of carbs in my system from the last like hour, no, like two hours from refeeding. And I feel very sleepy because of it. So um, in regards to this refeed, yeah, I, I just did it because like I said, I felt really depleted and mentally and physically exhausted and I wanted to have um, kind of a refeed before I ever got to a point 
where I was like, forget it, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want and have like a giant cheat meal. Um, not that I felt like that was coming on necessarily, but like, you know, sometimes life happens and you're just like, forget it, I'm eating what I want. And I wanted to kind of re-energize myself before that happened and actually feed myself, you know, with calories and macronutrients in mind. So by the end of today, I think I will be like around 22, 2300 calories which is a decent step up from my normal daily intake. But it's good every once in a while to refeed yourself. It's good for your hormone levels. It's good for your, you know, brain. And, um, like, I feel really good now. I feel, like, ready to take on the next, like, week or two. Like, killing it in the gym and killing it with my diet and a contingency progress. And, yeah. I am a piece of crap on a stick. Because I didn't vlog anymore last night. Now it's Saturday. We're all the way to Saturday. And uh, I'm vlogging in the parking lot of my gym and people are staring at me right now. But I'm dedicated. I didn't answer my questions yesterday. So I need to answer some questions from you guys. For real though, the last two days were like really, really hard to try and get myself motivated. Like I'll just be straight with you. Thursdays and Fridays are my off days. So I try really hard to not work at all on Thursdays and Fridays. And I didn't realize how much... It was gonna take out of me to try and vlog and like edit vlogs and stuff like that. So that's my bad. I did not plan accordingly. I should have like, I don't know, done something other than left y'all hanging. So I apologize. But let's let's answer some questions. Why don't we? Somebody said, what are some natural ways that you keep your spirits up and anxiety down in winter months? Um, I've talked. I think I talked about it last night that I do struggle with some anxiety. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that kind of in the winter months I get like depressed. Um, like really depressed kind of out of nowhere and for no rhyme or reason and it'll just kind of last for weeks and weeks at a time and um, I've talked to like my doctor about it and he said it just sounds like pretty normal like wintertime depression um, lack of vitamin D I don't know so no I'm not on any medication for it or anything like that my doctor said it didn't sound like I needed to be at all so I just trust his judgment um, and I find that when I do certain things to keep my mood up and kind of like talk to myself a little bit I can kind of pull myself out of the slump for enough to like get through the days and I guess what really really helps me and I'm gonna probably do a video on this soon because you guys a lot of you guys have asked about it is um, first of all having a routine every day so that I don't like wake up and like struggle to get going and like struggle to like you know what I mean because when you're depressed it's hard to like even want to get going for the day it's hard to want to do anything you just want to kind of like lay in bed and not do anything and not think and not be held accountable or responsible for anything you should like it, you just get really in, like, inwardly focused I should say and um for me it's it's keeping a morning routine where every day I wake up I make my coffee I either do my cardio and then I'll spend time reading the word and praying or I'll spend time reading the word and praying and then do cardio it just kind of depends on um, my energy levels and stuff like that and then I make myself breakfast and then I get to work I mean I just I have this routine and spending that time I spend with God every morning where I'm like praying and meditating and journaling a little bit I will do that for an hour to an hour and a half some days um, and I know that the more time that I spend doing that the more I kind of feel centered and the more I feel like I don't know I mean if you're a Christian you know that like the time spent with the Lord is what gives you hope and makes you feel refreshed and renewed so making sure that that stays as like a daily habit for me is key and I can tell when I start like letting that slip where I like let myself get too busy and start cutting that out in some mornings that I can feel my overall mood start to change uh, I really just need that downtime I'm definitely kind of like an introvert in a lot of ways where maybe I shouldn't say introvert but I like my time alone I like to be alone a lot and so yeah that and um keep exercising keep eating right you do not need to trash your body with laziness and terrible eating habits while it's also trying to go through like a you know mental struggle of some sort and I was taking a supplement for a while called 5-HTP and I tried it for about a month and I really didn't feel like it was doing much else for me um, in terms of like making my moods more balanced and and happier and stuff like that but I know a lot of people have had a lot of success with success with that um, particular supplement there's another one that someone had told me about called like stress like calm something it's like a supplement that makes you calm which I there's like a million out there but this particular one she told me about I just couldn't find anywhere and uh, but yeah it's like a supplement that makes you calmer and I saw the reviews online a lot of people said that it worked and so in times of anxiety next time I have like a really big bout of that which prayerfully it doesn't ever come back like it was but um, if that were to happen God forbid I, I will probably seek something like that out and um, like I said just 
meditation, time to yourself. Sometimes being alone with your thoughts can be really, really scary, but I think that the more you avoid yourself and avoid whatever it is that you don't want to face, the longer and the worse it's just going to get and the anxiety will just build up. So like you just gotta face it. Whatever thing you're dealing with, whatever fear or emotion that you don't wanna have to look at, like just do it, just like face it and get it out of your system. And once you realize like it can't hurt you, you, you take the power away from it to hurt you by just facing it and not letting it just like hide behind the curtains. Um, I think that that is really empowering and also kind of takes away the edge of your overall feeling of stress or depression or anything like that, so. I hope that answer maybe helped somebody. Someone else asked, and this is a good question, how important is sleep when you're trying to lose weight? Y'all, sleep is so important. <laughs> sleep is so, so, so important. My weight will literally, I could be dieting so, so well and killing it in the gym, but if I'm not getting a lot of sleep, my weight will not change. And even though I might technically be burning fat, um, I will just retain water like nobody's business. I have a friend right now who was going through the same thing where he was um, doing everything he was supposed to do but just not getting quality sleep or enough sleep. And once he started getting more sleep, weight just started dropping off. And I swear that has happened to so many of my clients and it's happened to me, I can tell. Like if I go and I get four hours of sleep, I already know that when I wake up the next day, my weight is gonna be up. Um, I'm gonna be retaining water, I'm not gonna feel good. Your body needs rest, especially when you're dieting, when your body is, all your systems are all stressed up by everything else you know being in a deficit working out hard in the gym cardio things like that you need rest and it will make a difference on what you see in the scale for sure and it will make a difference in how much water you're retaining it'll make a difference in how you even can perform in the gym you know what I mean like if your body is not getting rested and you're tired it just adds to the chaos of already being in a caloric deficit so get your sleep make it a priority um i know that some people have to get up at four and five in the morning i get up at four and five in the morning too but when i do i try to make sure i'm in bed by 10 o'clock so that i'm getting at least six or seven hours of sleep and i make sure to find at least two days a week where i can get like eight or nine hours of sleep know that it does make a difference in your weight loss goals for sure so okay I'm sorry I was so gross for this last little bit of uh, video footage. I just finished up at the gym, so but I'm do I'm gonna I'm gonna plan better next week so that when Thursday and Friday come I'm not like what and um, yes I'm going to turn this camera off and then start vlogging for Saturday. So yay! I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience in my vlogging absence the last couple of days. You guys are cool. Love you. What am I doing? I'm going to turn off the camera now.